beauty and quality and a gorgeous sharp knife made in Japan. Good morning everyone, I am Steve with Steve's POV and welcome to Seki City in Gift Prefecture, Japan. Take a walk with me through this residential neighborhood. Think that this is a home. This is just another home in a residential neighborhood. No, no, no. What you have right here, no sign outside, nothing to mark what it is, is a high-end, no quantity, high quality knife manufacturer named Saetsu Hamono. Saetsu Hamono means knife. It comes from the days of the swords and kapana. And this country, this company has been doing this for over 50 years. Right here, no sign outside, no nothing. But when you get inside, you're gonna see what a very small company is world renowned for making. Some of the highest end cutlery that you can ever imagine. Let's get inside and check out Science of Hamono. Come on. small factory in this residential neighborhood, they're producing a lot of beautiful cutlery. This is over 50 years of history. Third generation president of, of Science of Hamono is now training his son, 27, 28 years old, to be the fourth generation too. This is their production facility. It's very small. This is no bigger than an average house maybe within this area. But what they're producing here is some of the highest end cutlery in the entire world. You can't look them up on Google. You can't find them on the map. You would walk through this neighborhood maybe a hundred times and never even notice that there's a factory right here. But what? That's kind of cool. In this modern day where there's information and people marketing and putting ads on Google and everything else, not this company. It's all old school here. Totally hand done. Everything produced by hand, by the same family, the same way for almost 50 years. And they're making some of the very highest end custom. Again, this isn't about quantity. They're not a high quantity manufacturer. They're a low quantity, high quality kind of custom knife manufacturer. Over here is actually, will be the fourth generation uh, president of the company. This is the owner's son. And he is here sharpening on two very old school sharpening wheels. The one on the right is very rough, but kind of a rougher way. This is where you start the process of sharpening the knife. And on the left to this left, the other wheel is a more fine, detailed uh, wheel spinning and that will smooth out the sharpening process. Look at the attention to detail. Look at the intensity, the concentration. This is what he's dedicated his life to. I mean, this is a hand process, step by step, and it takes a lot of time to produce a knife. So when you wonder why a knife costs a few hundred dollars, five hundred dollars or more, you have to appreciate the amount of time uh, and labor that goes into producing something like this. Next to him is the current president and owner of the company. And you can see he's working too on a very old school grinding wheel where he is now shaping and carving what looks to be the handle portion of a knife that he is making. What is being manufactured right here is one of the knives in the Kajin Saku lineup. Look at the amount of time that goes into just even getting the handle to fit perfectly. It's all by eye, there's no computers, there's no machines here. This is all by experience, years and years of learning and knowledge to perfect the best knives and make the best knives in the entire world. This is not push a button and let a machine make something. This is an old school bench drill. So you just open the holes up, these will be the holes that'll be used to put screws through to fasten both ends of the handle together onto the knife. Now that he's opened up the holes through the one side of the handle and through the knife portion as well, he's applying some adhesive again, some cement to the other half, where he's now gonna bring the other part of the handle together and sandwich that knife up into the middle. He'll clamp that together, allow it to dry again, and then the next step in the process will become, once it's together now, now they still have to shave down the handle to match the knife. It's not even near complete yet. There's lots of steps still left in the process. Back to the drill press we are here, and you can see now that they've attached the other side, the other half of the handle, he needs to open up holes in this side too. After the drill press again, where he went ahead and completed the holes from the original side all the way through to the new, the other half of the handle side, see now, he's actually creating his own pins, these metal rods, he's cutting off pieces, and he's going ahead and he's, he's manually inserting them into the holes, and now hammering them together 
to create the finished look of the handle. You can see, even at this point here, it's all hand trimming, all done by hand. The pin is in, he's cutting off the excess, as you can see, and preparing to finish off the handle portion of the knife. Now he's making a handle fit the actual knife. Look at it taking shape. You can see it taking shape right now, slowly but surely. He's not only hitting the sides and evening it out with the metal portion of the knife itself, but he's working on the surface as well. And it's amazing. There's no computers involved. He knows it. He's the computer. They wanted to show me just how easy you can actually take a piece of paper. Oh. This is like a, a paper cutter. Look at that. You could slice, no effort at all, and I could trim right through this, this paper like that. It's unbelievable how sharp and how effective this is. This is not easy to do. That's the quality that they're manufacturing here. Beauty and quality and a gorgeous sharp knife made in Japan, made right here in Seki City, made right here by Saitsu. So let me introduce you to a special lineup made especially for Yagi by Saitsu Hamono. These are the lineup called the Kajin Saku. Here is a specialty handmade lineup of knives that is made at a pro level. I mean, these are for chefs or other professional cooks for anywhere uh, around the world. But for you at home too, if you want the best in cutlery, something that will last a lifetime, you should check out this series. No two knives are gonna be the same since they're all handmade. Every handle, every design, it's gonna have a little bit of difference in it. Why? Because they're handmade, it's not computerized. You can have your own original, beautiful piece of cutlery in these beautiful boxes, by the way, they come in these presentation boxes containing this beautiful uh, packaged knife for gifts, for yourself, for friends, for the chef in your family, for the aspiring chef in your family. Why not check out one of these? You can't come to Japan and just necessarily show up at the door of a place like this and buy one of these. But through Yagi Select, you can. They're available to you now. They ship all over the world. You sit back and you look at how much time and labor and intensity and dedication it takes to just produce one of these knives. Check out Science of Hamono. And we hope the next generation will take this company another 50 years in the future, still producing beautiful stuff just like this by hand here in Gif Prefecture, Seki City. Thumbs up.